Hey guys, Chris here. Today I'm along the Feather River in Northern California. I love it up here. It's one of my favorite spots. And we're going to take a look at the Osprey Stratos 36. That is a great day pack and you can do short overnighters with it. We're going to take a look at that next. Okay, we got the Osprey Stratos 36. This is a really decent pack. It's very similar, almost identical to the Osprey Stratos 24. It's just bigger and it's narrower. Uh, has a capacity of 2,197 cubic inches of space, 36 liter. It weighs 3.3 pounds. I like the weight of that. That's pretty decent. 3.3 pounds. It comes in many colors. I'll post the colors right right over here. <laughs> and it is a top loader. So it's more like a full backpack. It's really it's for extended day trips and short overnighters, one or two nights, weekend, uh, things like that. It does cost $170, which is not that much more than the 24. I think the 24 was $140. So, and the, like I said, it comes in the top loader and the top loader comes in a 36 and a 50. And then the panel loader, which is the one that zips like that and then the panel opens up, that comes in a 24 and a 34 for the Stratos. It does have a load capacity of about 15 to 40 pounds, so you can carry quite a bit of gear in it. I came down to the river with, I had my, I got my tent, my backpack, my sleeping pad, a little bit of clothes, and my cooking, cooking set, a couple of bottles of water. So I got a bunch of stuff in here. It, was, it worked really great. And it's not a really big pack, it's a 36. So uh, it, it is 27 inches tall about 12 and a half inches wide and about 12 and a half maybe 13 inches deep this way it comes in a small medium and a medium large i got the medium large uh it does have the osprey almighty guarantee which they say it's any product any reason any era so again that's uh, they they were around since 1974 so they're saying uh, you can return it if they, something's not working, something's uh, ripped, not functioning, or whatever. So that's that's good. It's, that's it is a premium pack. You're going to pay more. Like I said, 170 bucks. But I like them. Osprey's great packs. So let's take a look at the details. All right, starting at the back here, we have the top lid. The lid does not remove. Uh, I thought it did. It does not. That's okay because I'd rather just keep it on anyways for the most part. Underneath the top lid, it's a pretty good sized lid too, there is a mesh pocket right here. Has the, uh, the key holder. I like those. Good zipper on it. I'm probably going to put my phone in there, uh, camera, wallet, things like that. Uh, on the other side, this is your main 
compartment for the top lid, looped zipper, one, one uh, zipper on the top, but you can get quite a bit of stuff in the top here. It is reachable when it's on over your shoulder. Good size pocket there. On the back here, again, we have the outer pocket. It does not have the mesh uh, cargo pouch. I guess that's what you call it. Sounds like something a kangaroo would have. A cargo pouch. <laughs> uh, it does have a zipper right down the middle, which it works pretty good. It doesn't open super wide. You see that? But it's enough to access. Here's my here's my cook kit stove. All that. I, I love my cook kit. I'm gonna make some. I think I'm gonna make some coffee here. I'm, it's kind of chilly today. A uh, good size pocket there, though. This is really in place of the outer mesh pocket, which I really like. But uh, this is works really well. Everything's totally sealed and gonna stay dry in there. Um, it does have a side access zipper right here, loop zipper. And that can get inside, look at that, all the way down here. That really makes it so much easier to get at your gear when it's a top load. The top load can be frustrating for people because everything is jammed straight in. And then to get anything at the bottom, you got to go right to the top. So side access zipper, love that. does have the ice axe loop holder right there. Those work good for you ice axe people. I've, like I said, I've put my tripod on here. I've said it, said that in past videos. Has side compression straps. Those work very nicely. And this is the, the top one here. So. so we got strap there, strap there. Side compression strap over the water bottle holder and that water bottle holder will hold the larger water bottle which is the 32 ounce that's usually what i carry is the 32 ounce and then there's a a side compression strap on that which secures the water bottle as well as your, your overall load so that works good at the bottom this is a sleeping bag compartment and the Stratos 24 does not have that. But I got my sleeping bag in there. I got everything set up here. Uh, but look at that. Fairly, a fairly small sleeping bag. Mine is uh, a 50 degree bag that I carry down today. Um, but that has dual zippers on it. Look at that, dual loop zippers. I always, I always like the loop zippers. So much easier to work with, with a little plastic uh, finger holder like that. Is that what you call it, a finger holder? <laughs> finger sandwich? Uh, below that, we have the rain cover. There's our rain cover right there. So look at that, we got a big compartment here, sleeping bag compartment here rain cover right there and voila again we got the rain cover that fits nicely over the whole pack i guess i can put that on real quick and we did have some rain and fog this morning <laughs> when i came before i came down to the river here but that works good they seem to really have I've noticed uh, it's always this green one for the rain cover. I don't know why they don't make the rain cover match the actual color of your specific backpack. I think they should do that personally. People would probably appreciate that, you know, or give you more options. Sometimes you don't want a bright green rain cover. So, uh, it's, there we go. And then we have the uh, sleeping pad straps here, or outer, outer lower straps. If you want to put maybe your tent there even. But that's where I would put, that's where I did put my sleeping pad 
this morning on the way down. The uh, sleeping pad, uh, and this is this is really thick, super lightweight. It is the Thermarest Z Lite, uh, but super thick. And there's plenty of strap here to make this work. So if you have the rolled up, most most sleeping pads are the kind that roll up or even fold down and put in a little pouch like that. But that works great, obviously, for that. Super lightweight. It's not going to be any problem to carry that. <laughs> on the side here, we do have the Stow On The Go trekking pole holders. I like those a lot. They work really well. I'm always, uh, you know, you don't want to forget your trekking poles. Just you want your hands free. It's really a great idea to have that. You can try other, th you can hang other things on that. Uh, even hang clothes if they're wet or something and let it dry if it's a sunny day. So that, that would work. The main cargo area, the main load, uh, it's got a good strap here, snugs everything down. What what's, I like about this a lot is that once you snug it down, you can grab this and you pull that and look at how quick that opens up. It's just You just don't want to be have like a knot and you're trying to struggle to get that open. Uh, very big compartment there. As you can see, that is your main your main load space and uh, it goes all the way down to right there where the sleeping bag compartment is and that's where I put my tent and my clothes it does have the hydration sleeve here right inside here see that pocket it's a big pouch big kangaroo pouch again and then there is a opening right here for the hose to come out here is where the hose comes out right under there it even says h2o right there so it does not come with the hydration reservoir though i think that's a mistake on osprey's part i think they should add that people would appreciate that uh since they're paying 170 dollars i would just add it to the the, the uh, package here the pack uh, there is a clip here to hang the hydration so it's not uh, flopping down well, that, that's very helpful to have the little clip there like that clip like that so on the back here I guess I'm not sure I guess this would be the front this is the back that's what I call it because uh, this is to me, this is the front, so. This is where we have the airspeed back panel. Check that out. Look at the, uh, look at the space that you get between the, uh, the backpack and the trample, it's called trampoline mesh. See that? I don't know if I would jump on it, but. <laughs> and you can see the aluminum bar here, super lightweight aluminum bar that goes up and over right through here and down the other side that gives you your your structure to the whole pack this adjusts pretty easily big velcro pad right here and pull that down there you go very grabby which is i appreciate that and there here's your your different levels to keep track of where you would like to be I tend to be, and you can see uh, the whole thing comes out like that. So they have it just four levels just to give you some kind of a guide. I tend to go about like, oh, maybe like that. And see how simple that is? Very simple to adjust. It has the uh, load lift, has the load lifters right here at the top. I always do those towards the end when I got a full load, and then you, you keep cinching everything down. Very adjustable. <clears throat> chest harness here it's got the whistle whoa that is a loud whistle i've had ones in the past that weren't quite as loud <clears throat> that could come in handy uh if you get lost you're, you're somebody's looking for you you got a friend and you're down by the river who knows but that could be that could come in handy this slides up and down like that easy to adjust i tend to go a little bit higher 
and uh, like that. My fire is working its way into my uh, shot here. <laughs> Bad fire. Bad fire. It's been good all the whole time. Uh, we have the strap here to snug it up at the bottom. Very, it's a very thick pad on the uh, shoulder harness, shoulder strap. Look at that. It's real, real comfortable foam and then it's got this mesh here. Very cool, I like that. The, the uh, integrated belt here, look at that. That is very comfortable. That's where most of your weight is going to go is on the belt. It has a big buckle on it, easy to strap. I'm not sure about these extra straps. Um, people kind of have complained that just, they just don't like the big straps hanging down in front of them. It would be nice if there's some kind of way that this would roll up, coil up, I don't know, but some way. I've, obviously they need, need it to adjust for the different waist sizes. So I get that. It's just this extra hanging out. That's just me. That's my little little uh, complaint, I guess. Outer pocket. Check that out. Look at that. Uh, could be a little bigger. My thought is a little bit bigger. Um, I have my my uh, phone here. This is an i this is an iPhone 7, and I think that let's see if this fits in there. Yeah, that fits. There we go. There we go. So that's an iPhone 7. I don't know what phone you have, but you know that's where you're going to want to put your phone, your keys, maybe some money, uh, you know, even a credit card. You know, if you you have a, a place that you're coming out of the trailhead and you're getting a ride, and there's a you know a small town to get some food at or something. So one on either side. Very cool. The only cons that I can see are, I, I don't like that it <clears throat> doesn't really seem to stand up very well on its own. It would be nice if it, it kind of stood up on its own. It doesn't seem to really do that very well. Uh, I do miss some kind of an outer quick access cargo mesh pocket on the back. I really like that, especially uh, just to stick a map, stick your hat, stick things to quick access. Um, it's not a big deal. You do have quick access here with the zipper, but it's still the, the mesh pocket. I have in the, my Manta 24 and my uh, Atmos 65. I really like those. Uh, I think the hip belt pockets could be just slightly bigger. Uh, it's a minor complaint, just slightly bigger. I really appreciate the hip belt pockets and the it does not come with the hydration bladder. I think that's a mistake. So those four things, minor complaints. Uh, other than that, very, uh, very well built, well ventilated, uh, easy to load, easy to access things, uh, very balanced. And it's, it's, you can see it's narrower. See how narrow that is? So it just really fits nicely on your back. You don't feel like you have this big giant beanbag chair on your back or something. <laughs> so I really like that. I think um, I, I recommend this, the 36. And uh, I, gotta, I gotta load my gear up and uh, head back out of the canyon here. But we'll, uh, we'll see you next time. Okay, thanks for watching. That was a lot of fun. And uh, we'll see you next time. Keep hiking.